Hello Pisces, welcome to a love reading all about how your person is thinking or feeling about you. Uh, as always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Pisces 100%. Just take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. So let's see what that's for Pisces spirit. What messages do you have for Pisces regarding love? Does Pisces need to know about the person? Tell me about the person that Pisces is in a connection with. What are their secret thoughts or feelings towards Pisces at this time? What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Pisces or this connection spirit? Let's see what we have for you. Pisces. Oh, I got both cards already. We got the Ten of Swords reversed. So this is someone that most likely wants to either ask for forgiveness or forgive in order to move on. We have the King of Wands reversed, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. Typically this is a very um, dominant energy, someone who is very uh, hot tempered, impulsive, gets themselves into trouble, doesn't think too much about their actions before they act. This could be the way that your person is acting right now towards this connection. This could be how they see you in this connection. We'll see. Tell me more. Tell me more about how this person is secretly thinking or feeling about Pisces at this time. Tell me more. Tell me more about how this person is secretly thinking or feeling. Okay, we got happy family. And I wanna get one more. We get one more. Okay, we got walking away. So I feel like something here ended, um, a connection that was probably, you know, it could have involved children for some of you. For others of you, the family was involved, or it was something to do here with like a commitment or a home. I feel like someone walked away from that in this connection. It could have been you, could have been this person. Bottom of the deck, I have magician in the mirror. Someone could be manifesting what? Door to romance, okay. Someone's manifesting a new door opening here. Something to do with love here. Okay. So let's keep... Actually, let's get some insight now. I was going to say, let's get some insight later, but I kind of want to get some insight now. On this situation. Get some clarity, please. I want to clarify both of these cards. The Ten of Swords reverse and the king of wands reverse i feel like someone really screwed up here that's the energy i'm picking up already but we'll see if i'm right about that tell me about the ten of swords reverse Nine of Pentacles reverse. What else can you tell me about this? Ten of Swords reverse. King of Swords reverse. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. The communication here is terrible. I feel like Someone's trying to rebalance something that is, has already ended. The Ten of Swords reverses something that has already ended. Um, 
and someone either wants to move forward past this ending or they're not over what happened. I feel like someone's so um, attached to this in an emotional sense. Um, someone's not free of what happened and I feel like they're trying to uh, slowly have something come together here with the temperance card. But with King of Swords Reverse, either the communication is terrible or not happening at all, or someone's not being very honest or clear about what's going on here. What's this King of Wands Reverse about? What's this King of Wands Reverse about? Page of Wands. What's this King of Wands Reverse about? Three of Cups. Yeah, someone wants to like come together here, have some sort of reunion. What else can you tell me about this King of Wands reverse? But it's like their own attitude or their approach as a King of Wands reverse or as a King of Swords reverse is getting in the way of this happening. Tell me more about this King of Wands reverse, please. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, that's not like happy families. It's, it's like a family situation here. There's issues here within a family. Possibly um, there's a lack of stability here, financial stabi instability or insecurity, or just like a broken commitment. Something happened here that I feel is this King of Wands reverses fault. <laughs> now, um, I feel like this is going to be, whoa, and I have the Three of Swords reversed at the bottom. I feel like this is going to be, and the two of wands, never mind. I was going to say it's going to be different for everybody. This is for those of you who are in some sort of third party situation, or you have some sort of interference in your connection in, in sense, like it could be something like family, um, work, money, distance, a current partner, a past partner, children. There's an interference here. And someone needs to choose. I have the two of wands here. So it's like someone needs to choose a path. I'm also getting the sense that this is someone that if there is a third party situation with another person, this person has not really decided. It's, it's almost like they're, they're, they're talking to both or dealing with both. We'll see. Let's get some more insight here into how your person is thinking or feeling. Tell me more spirit about the person that Pisces is dealing with at this time. What are they currently thinking or feeling? We gotta get to the bottom of this because this is kind of a mess here, Pisces. Tell me more about how this person is truly feeling or thinking about Pisces or this connection. What are their secrets? Oh, that's way too many. But I'll take the first one, the mouse. Sure, I'll put this down here. Tell me more about how this person is secretly thinking or feeling. There's way too many. Just want one card. Tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling when it comes to Pisces or this connection. Fine, I'll take these. <laughs> I'll take these two. Moth and Dragonfly, very similar energies here. I'm going to have to look um, at both of them just to see if there's something that resonates for you that are watching this. The Dragonfly is all about an illusion of the mind. Um, the mind is always shifting, changing, and so your perception changes, and that's what the Dragonfly is about. So I will have to look at both of these. I need to make some room for the other cards here. So let's look at the moth first. I'm just going to quickly tell you what it is. Impulsive, hasty, wishful. Moth energy is at play when we're attracted to easy solutions or anything shiny and new. This can lead to unfinished projects, disappointment, or burnout. No matter the illusion, no one is exempt from the trials and tribulations of this great journey. So 
the moth is very similar to the dragonfly in terms of like the mind illusions, what you are seeing versus what's actually there. And the first sign here, or the first sentence here is, the moth is sure the grass is greener on the other side. <laughs> I don't think that's been the case here, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, the, this is this is someone that's attracted to whatever's new, shiny, interesting, and it kind of gets them in trouble. The dragonfly is the master of light, illusion, and the mind. The dragonfly is a symbol of the mind, as it is always moving, shifting, shimmering, and changing. When the Dragonfly card appears, it's worth considering the quality of your mind and perception. Uh, the situation at hand may be different than it appears at first glance. So yes, this is someone that I feel was attracted to something else outside of this connection, uh, Pisces. I think it got them in trouble. I think they probably walked away towards something else and the grass wasn't greener. I'm not going to uh, read the mouse, I just want to look at the three keywords. Detail-oriented, small-minded, nitpicky, nervous. Yeah, very anxious energy because I feel like your person... Small-minded, very interesting. Your person didn't think about this very uh, deeply enough. I feel like it got them in trouble. So let's look at what else we can... Um, get from your person here. I'm using my new deck, the Secret Moon Oracle deck. This is a physical deck that I'm working on and it will be available soon, hopefully, sometime probably in the next month. This is what your person is secretly thinking or feeling. So let's see what other insight we can get here. Tell me more for Pisces, please. What is this person secretly thinking or feeling about Pisces or this connection? What do we need to know, Spirit? Okay, we got I miss you. What else? Yeah, I feel like this person misses you now that they realize that they screwed up. Tell me more. What else can you tell me about how this person is thinking or feeling? Oh, I'm heartbroken. And bottom of the deck. I wasn't ready. And behind that I have I desire you. Okay. So they know what they want now. They weren't sure then possibly or Again, I'm just getting the sense that they, they probably were attracted to something shiny and new and it wasn't what they expected. Move this over here. So let's get some information then into, you know, let's look at your person's true intentions towards you. Spirits, angels, guides for Pisces, please. What is this person's true intentions towards Pisces or this connection? It looks like this person, um, they want something here with the Page of Wands, something at least to begin again. But I have a Three of Cups, so there could be some somebody else involved here. Or something that is interfering. But your person, I feel, is focused on making this work. Um, they just have no idea of how to go about it. Let's see. What are their true intentions? Towards Pisces, please. Their true intentions. Page of Wands reversed. I think this person, um, they don't really think very far ahead. I think they probably make a lot of plans, but don't actually complete them, or make a lot of promises, but don't keep them. I'm not saying that they do that to be um, manipulative or because they're a terrible person. I'm just saying that that's what ends up happening here with this person. Tell me more about their true intentions, please. Five of Pentacles reverse. They want to have some sort of recovery here. Seven of Swords reverse. Page of Pentacles reverse. Knight of Pentacles reverse. Yikes. I don't know. And the world. It's almost like they want a whole new cycle with you, but they can't give you anything at the same time. 
they want a recovery, but at the same time, this would get them in trouble in some way, or it will take them forever to get this. It'll be different for all of you. If this is resonating for you, Pisces, so far, then let me know in the comments what is going on here. Because I feel this is a very complex reading in the sense of like, I could see various different reasons for why your person cannot come to you or this isn't working. Tell me more about this page of wands reverse. Why is this page of wands reverse here? Page of Swords Reverse, because they're not telling you the whole story or communication. Again, communication's not good. It could be that you're not talking to this person, or when you talk, it doesn't end well. It doesn't go anywhere. Possibly because they're not being completely honest with you. Tell me more about this. We got the tower. Something surprising, shocking. Can I get... Okay, I'm going to take that one because it like flew out. Queen of Wands reverse. We got the King of Wands reverse, Queen of Wands reverse. I wonder if you would even be like open to this Pisces. I have a feeling that like a lot of you that I'm talking to are just completely over this person. I'm also getting like you don't trust what this person says anymore. It could also be that this person, your person um, must have stepped outside of your connection and dealt with a Queen of Wands reverse. Let's see, can I get one more for this Page of Wands reverse? It could be that your person's intention is to cause a tower. Nine of Cups to get their wish fulfillment. Yeah, what's this? King of Swords reverse. Again with the King of Swords reverse. I feel like they're not, they're, 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 they're gonna try to, you know what I'm, I'm picking up here? It's almost like perhaps things have, there's a disconnect between you, your person misses you. Um, maybe there's not a lot of communication. So in their mind, they have to do something crazy. That's what I'm picking up here. Because their other approaches have not worked or they realize that this is gonna take a miracle. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles reverse. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, they want everything here that they've lost. But then I have the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Again, something that they cannot give you. There's something that they cannot give you. Could be financial, could be in terms of commitment. What's this Queen of Pentacles reversed about? All of the kings and queens I've gotten reversed. Ten of Swords. What they, I feel like whatever caused your ending or whatever caused your disconnect, Pisces, this is still ongoing and that's why your person cannot give you something. And it's gonna, again, it's gonna be different for all of you why your situation has turned out the way it has with this person. I have three tens here. Yeah, four of wands reverse, seven of pentacles. Perhaps time has passed. Um, perhaps in your mind, this isn't gonna go anywhere or you wonder if this would be different this time around. But with the 10 of, of swords and the four of wands, I feel like a commitment was broken. There was a lot of unhappiness and a huge disconnect happened here. And I feel like the reason for that is still around. So let's look at what actions they'll take towards you for regarding this connection. What are their next actions going to be? We got death, Scorpio energy. What are their next actions going to be? We got High Priestess. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is the tower. With the High Priestess, I feel like you don't see this coming or this is going to be something surprising or hidden. There's a secret here. And with death, it's like a total ending or transformation, which I feel is tied to that tower. Let me pick a different deck here to clarify. Let me clarify these energies, please. Let 
Let me clarify these energies, please. What's Seth about? What's Seth about? The world, yeah. This is your person, like, doing whatever. I'm telling you, they're going to do whatever it takes to have a new cycle. They might even, they might, like, decide to close a chapter altogether in their life. Tell me more about death. The full reverse. Tell me more about death. It might take time. You know. So again, what I'm seeing here, and then bottom of the deck, just so you can see, Page of Swords, Reverse. Um, and then after that, just because I'm curious, Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands, Reverse. So what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing your person desperately trying to make something happen here, change the situation, right? They're thinking, I'm going to close whatever chapter I need to close. I want to end or change. I'm going to change as a person. I want to do all this stuff. And this is their big plan. But with the full reverse, they're not planning it very well. They're either being naive about a situation, not thinking through their next steps enough. This would be completely reckless of them. And it's going to lead to a six of wands reverse, which is delayed success or no success at all. And then I have the page of swords reverse. So it's almost like this person doesn't have clarity or isn't being open or honest about what they're doing and it gets them in trouble. You know, it keeps this Ace of Wands from happening for them. The intention is there. Tell me about this High Priestess. I feel like they're doing this in secret. Seven of Wands, tell me more about the High Priestess, please. Page of Wands, this is communicating with you. Again, um, I feel like this is going to cause some sort of like, yeah, Page of Cups. So what I'm saying here is like, your person's thinking like, what, what do I give Pisces? <laughs> I'm not gonna give them the truth because I can't do that, but I will give them all of this other stuff. Page of Cups, an apology, expression of love, Page of Wands, lots of emotion and action and fiery energy, chemistry, passion. I'll give them this, you know, because I, I want to show them that I'm willing to fight for us, to fight for this. Can I get one more for the High Priestess, please? And I feel like with the High Priestess, it's like either you con cut contact Pisces or something happened where the uh, communication between you became like very stagnant or just not, maybe there's no communication here. And so it's like making your person desperate here. Yeah, they, they, I feel like you are the Empress. You are someone that is way like, I just, yeah. And then the Seven of Swords, you're, you're, I feel like this is you on one side and this is your person on the other. You're like on two different levels here. And I don't want to upset anybody that's cross-watching. I'm reading for Pisces, okay? <laughs> so, you know, just because it, it could be that, you know, cross-watchers, it could be that you're running out of options. But at the same time, I feel like you're not on the same page with this person, Pisces. You're on two different levels here. Your person's thinking strategically, avoiding certain conversations, not being completely honest, um perhaps out of fear, who knows, but you're like this empress. So 